This video will show you how a seaweed can be more cunning than you ever thought possible. It will show you how the reproductive mechanisms of Sargassum muticum have helped it colonise rocky shores all over northern Europe. Now when the plants become fertile, they grow lots of cigar-shaped receptacles. Here is one. And these are the uh, reproductive uh, parts of the plant. They're covered with tiny little pits, which are called conceptacles. And the conceptacles are where the gametes are made. And each fertile plant has both male and female conceptacles. And a single plant can fertilize its own eggs. Now, here we see the inside of a female conceptacle. This is the eugonium, which will become the egg. It's surrounded by three layers. And these are some hairs which synthesize this mucilage plug. The plug keeps water out of the eugonium. Now, when reproduction begins, the fucam plug disintegrates and the conceptacle fills with water. This water is absorbed by the walls of the conceptacle, which begin to swell. And similarly, the outer layer of the eugonium, here in purple, also begins to swell. It expands and eventually it splits. And this exposes the yellow middle layer there, which has special regions, these banded bits, which absorb water, which cause it uh, to elongate and form stalks. The swelling conceptacle squeezes the, the eugonium through the entrance of the conceptacle to the outside world. And as that happens, meiosis occurs and we end up with eight haploid nuclei, as you can see here. Seven of these are bought and supply energy for the remaining one, which now becomes the ovum or egg. And once it's outside of the conceptacle, it reverts back to its round shape. Now we'll see the whole sequence again. Now, in a male conceptacle, not far away, the fucan plug dissolves. The conceptacle floods with water, and meiosis occurs in these antheridial hairs, followed by multiple mitosis, producing lots of sperm. The outer layers of the antheridial hairs dissolve away, releasing the sperm which are biflagellate. They've got two little flagelli which allow them to swim about. Now, meanwhile, back at the egg, uh, the egg uh, has produced um, sperm attracting chemicals. And these are released uh, into the water and at incredibly low concentrations are detected by the sperm, which gets very excited, as you can see, and swims off towards the ovum. Here it comes. And it fertilizes the egg. Now, baby plants develop. The key point being they develop while they're still attached to the receptacle. Here is one. This is a tiny little uh, sargassum germling. And they reach quite an advanced stage before dropping off and attaching to the rock. The receptacles actually look hairy, and there are a lot of germlings attached to them. And the point about this is that because they're uh, released at an advanced stage, they can grow like their clappers and very quickly become unavailable to the grazing activities of animals like limpets. Now, sargassum is also covered with 
gas bladders, so I got some music in this, and that allows it to float, so that even if it gets detached from the rock, it can float about, releasing germlings onto any suitable surface. And this ability, and its habit of holding onto the germlings until they're quite large, has clearly helped it in its impressive progress around the coasts of the UK and Europe.